If you could remember only one thing from all my videos about lifting weight, it should be that to build muscle you need to get stronger. I know I repeat this all the time, but so many people in gym make the mistake of hoping from one workout to the next without ever focusing on the one thing that truly matters, lifting more than weight. The problem is that while it's pretty straightforward to improve your lifts as a beginner, things slow down quite a bit once you hit the intermediate or advanced stage. At some point, you will also run into strength plateaus where you stagnate over weeks or even months. In this video, I want to show you how you can bust through these plateaus and see progress again. Just like in the case of fat loss plateaus, there are many different reasons you might be stuck so you have to look at it from different angles. Let's start with tip number one, change your workout. Even though I'm not a big fan of program hoping, so completely switching your workout routine every few weeks to confuse your muscles or doing something other kind of nonsense it does make sense to change things every few months. The reason for this is mostly psychological. In theory, you could do the same exercise for years and see progress, but you will probably get bored doing the same thing over and over again. So one possible reason for your plateau might simply be that you need more variety and kind of less motivation. Of course, when you go from one workout to the next, you want to make small changes. Don't go from lifting weight to doing only cardio or something similar. Instead, make small changes to your exercises like going from barber bench press to dumbbell bench press or from normal squats to hex squats. At this point, we should also talk about rep ranges and rest times. Every so often you want to change this as well. If you exclusively train in the lower rep ranges, so one to five reps per set, you lift very heavy and train mostly for strength. If you lift in higher rep ranges, so one, two and above, you train mostly for endurance. Hypertrophy falls somewhere in the middle. But my point is that you shouldn't stick to one rep range for years and instead switch things up. Some same, same with rest times. I used to take really long breaks of three to two. I used to take really long breaks of three to three and a half minutes between my sets. In the major lifts like bench press or squats, in the major lifts like bench press or squats. This definitely helps with strength on the subsequent this definitely helps with strength on the subsequent sets and you will be slightly stronger. But at some point you also want to try shorter rest times and see how your body reacts. At first, you will probably feel like crap, but your but your body will get used to it and adapt. Of course, if you are already doing very short rest times in between sets or exercises and have hit a strength plateau, you want to go the other way and make them longer. You will definitely notice your strength go up and you feeling fresher. Tip number two is the exercise order. Another way to overcome a plateau is to change the sequence of exercises you normally do. For instance, if you do the same back exercise in the same order, your muscles will fatigue in the same way every time. By switching the order of exercises, your muscles will fatigue in a different way. Also keep in mind that the heaviest exercises, so deadlift squats, bench pressing and overhead press should always come in the beginning of your workout. That's when you are still freshest and have the most energy. Tip number three is improving form and training assistant muscles. Even though most lifters who are past the beginner stage will tell you that they have good form on all their exercises. There is always something we can improve. The bench press, for example, is an extremely complex movement and you need years of training to perfect it. So when you hit the plateau, it might very well be due to less than optimal form and you should go back to the basics before doing anything else. Another important thing is to train assistant muscles. So for example, if your bench press is weak, you probably think 
that this is because you have a weak chest. But in many cases, the limiting factors are the triceps or shoulders, which play an important part in the movement. Make them stronger through overhead pressing or isolated triceps exercises, and you will definitely bench more. Tip number four is revise your diet and eat more. Proper nutrition is crucial for muscle growth and to fuel your workouts. If you don't get the calories and macronutrients you need, you could very well undermine your training effort, no matter how hard you work. So for example, if you are currently in a calorie deficit to lose fat, don't expect your lift to go up unless you are a complete beginner. A calorie deficit is an energy deficit and your body won't be able to build muscles and train at its best. That's why so many athletes work in two phases, where they bulk first and build strength and afterwards cut down on body fat while only maintaining strength. So in the case of a longer strength plateau, the reason could be that you aren't eating enough or not the right things. Carbohydrates are the body's primary source of fuel and should not be avoided if you want to build muscle. Although low carbs diets are very popular, cutting out too many can reduce your exercise capacity and leave you fatigued. Same with fat, which is crucial for healthy hormone levels. And lastly, we need to talk about rest. If you train too hard for too long, you will definitely hit a plateau. Plenty of rest and recovery are central for growth. If you have fallen into a rut physically or emotionally, take some time off to recharge your batteries. By working out too much, you reduce your capacity to exercise and will fatigue quicker. Sometimes taking your foot off the accelerator is the best way to move forward. Also, overtraining can take back many of the gains you have made by placing your body under constant stress with little time to repair. The best way to recover without losing strength or muscle is through a deload week where you still do the same exercises but with less weight and fewer sets. I will explain how to do this in a different video. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.